Hello friends, welcome to another episode of the Hymn of the Week. I'm here together with Pastor Harry Heidebrecht and it's our privilege to bring this music and these scriptures and these few thoughts for you as you consider your walk with the Lord and what he is speaking and saying to you today, this week, in these days. Every now and then it's good for us to go back to the basics, to the, to the core of what we believe in and what's important to us. And one of those, well not one of those things, the main thing that we believe in is the hope that comes from the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. And that's what this passage talks about and then everything else flows along from that and our hymn will bring us to that foundational resting place as well. So let me take you to 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 to 9. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an, inher into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Pastor Harry. Our hymn of the week is, My Faith Has Found a Resting Place by Liddy H. Edmonds, composer Andre Gretti, arranged by William J. Kirkpatrick. The stated author, Liddy H. Edmonds, also wrote hymns under the pen name Eliza Edmonds Hewitt. She was born in Philadelphia in 1851. After graduation, she began her career as a teacher. But early in her career, she suffered a spinal injury that threatened to debilitate her for life. During her extended convalescence, she began studying English literature and writing children's poetry for primary children in her church Sunday school class. She also nurtured a deeper relationship with Jesus and a love for the Bible in her own life. She became a prolific author of children's poetry and other Sunday school literature. Some of her poetry was set to music and later published as hymns. The lyrics to My Faith Has Found a Resting Place were written sometime before her 40th birthday. They were first published in 1891 in a collection of hymns entitled Songs of Joy and Gladness. The opening lines would suggest the poem was written after a prolonged spiritual struggle, after which she wrote, My faith has found a resting place not in device or creed. Device suggests a product of human design and skill. Creed is something quite different. Creeds are rooted in the scriptures. They are useful for instruction and recitation in worship, but in themselves cannot save us. The focus of the hymn is on Christ's suffering and death on the cross. The lost he came to save. For me his precious blood he shed. For me his life he gave. As Peter wrote in the second chapter of his first epistle, 
For you know that it is not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you by your forefathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. The hymn remained relatively obscure and was not published again until 1944 in a hymnal entitled Choice Hymns of the Faith. It was not among the hymns familiar to me during my childhood and youth, nor was it included in any of our hymn books. It was not until I was a Bible college student in, in the early 1960s that I discovered the hymn. It was through the excitement of students returning from the Urbana Missions Conference, sponsored by InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. They not only returned with what I considered a new hymn, but with a soft covered hymnal entitled The Hymnal of InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. It was through these students and that hymnal that the hymn found its way into our churches and eventually was also included in our Worship Together hymnal, published in 1995. The hymn not only focuses on the suffering and death of Jesus, but is also made very personal by the repeated use of the pronouns, my, I, and me. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died, and that he died for me. The music to this hymn is based on a Norwegian melody by Andre Gretti. It was arranged and adapted to the words of this hymn by William J. Kirkpatrick, a prolific composer of hymns. Listen to the music as played by Ruth Thiessen at the piano and Steve Clausen on the trumpet, and follow the words by Liddy H. Edmonds on your screen. My faith has found a resting place, our hymn of the week.